Today, we're going to do a Graph Database 101 with Cosmos DB. My name is Maxime Rouillet, and I'm a Cloud Developer Advocate for Microsoft. First, what is Azure Cosmos DB? Well, it's a globally distributed, multi-model database that allows you to achieve massive scale with low latency. The multi-database sides of things is where we're going to be able to create our graph database from. They offer it key value, column family, documents, and graph. So first, let's do RDBMS to graph vocabulary crash course. With MySQL or SQL Server, we're used to the following term, table, column, relations. Graph database uses a completely different vocabulary because the model is different. So it's normal that the vocabulary differs. So here's a little bit of a parallel that we can draw between those two. Table to vertex or vertices, columns to properties, relations to edges. They're not one-on-one. -on -one. They're completely different, but it will be giving you a basic foundation on which to build. So let's take the example of RDBMS to actually build something. So we have a table. And in a graph database, that would be called a vertex. And that table has a name, has, has an owner. Well, those are called properties. And a table has properties, so that is actually an edge. But of course, a table can have more than one property, so we can have edges. And with that knowledge, let's go on to the next demo. Now, we're going to be creating our first Cosmos DB Graph database. So the first thing we're going to do is create our Azure Cosmos database by clicking Create a Resource. Then, select Cosmos DB from the right. Then, pick an ID. In this case, we're going to pick Beer Pub. As for the API, we're going to go with Gremlin Graph and create a new resource group called Beer App. Finally, we're going to pick from dozens of regions around the globe on where to host our account. As you can see, we cannot click create right now because the resource group is already existing in my subscription. And this account has already been created because I wanted to save some time on creating the account. As you can see here, this account called Beer Pub does not have any graph yet. So let's go to the Data Explorer and create our first graph by clicking New Graph going to be able to pick a database ID, which is going to be beer pub, and our graph ID is going to be beer graph. Finally, we're going to pick the capacity to be fixed at 10 gigabyte and the throughput at 400. This is to avoid having excessive cost for a database since we're just testing out. We're going to click on OK, and this will provision our graph. As you can see here, we don't have any vertex into our graph yet. So we're going to go ahead and create an application to provision that. Now that our Cosmos DB database has been created, let's create a .NET Core application on top of that database. So to create our application, we're going to open up PowerShell and we're going to type in .NET new console dash n. We're going to call it data initialization. This is going to create a new .NET Core C Sharp project. And we're going to navigate into that project. And we're going to add a package that is necessary to run Gremlin on .NET Core. Finally, we're going to do a .NET Restore to make sure that our packages are downloaded and installed properly. And then we're going to open up code to modify our project. So now that code is open, let's bring in some go some code into program.cs. First, we're going to want to have our connections information for our, our graph. So let's do this. So for the key, we're going to go into, into our browser and go into keys. And we're going to pick the first one over here. If just like me, you just showed your keys to the world, you can just click over here to regenerate it. So we're going to paste the key over here. Then we're going to bring in some using. Since 
just system is not enough to access Gremlin and everything else. We're going to bring in a whole lot of those. And finally, we're going to rewrite the whole console main here because we want to be able to run the code into an async, fa async fashion. So the first thing we're, go we're going to do is create a new method here called execute async that we're going to call into our main. And this will allow us to run async await into C sharp. So the code here we, that we see is that we created a new Gremlin server connection that will allow us to connect to our host name on a port on a secure connection using a username and our hotkey as a password. The client will allow us to write some different code. And now the only thing that's left to do is write some queries. So let's create some code for our application. First thing we're going to do is to add the cleanup code. The first thing we want to make sure is that our database is actually clean before creating anything on it. So let's do this. This will select all the vertex or vertices and drop them. Then we're going to add some beers with some property and then with like ID and names. Then we're going to add a brewery. And finally, we're going to add the relationship because graphs are all about relationships and this is where the power is actually. So we're going to select our vertices, in this case, this beer, and we're going to add an edge called made by to another vertex called oval from the brewery. Finally, we're going to build our application. So to make it different, let's open up PowerShell and type in .NET Run. Not our data has been completely created. Let's go to the portal and see how it goes. So let's go back to our beer pub and into our beer graph. We're going to do a load graph. This will show us the first result, which is our first beer. We can click on the second one to see the second beer. And of course, if we click on the actual brewing company here, we'll have a relationship with the other beers. And that's pretty much how it goes. And we can also see here our edges or our relationships between all those beers. If you're interested in reproducing the scenario, you can do, go to our .NET 5 Minutes Quick Start at cda.ms slash mf. If you're interested in a different model or a different API or just a different language, you can access all of our Quick Start with all the different models at cda.ms slash mg. If you have any questions about this video, don't hesitate to reach me on Twitter or my other profiles online at aka.ms slash maxcda. To see a list of all our advocates, go to aka.ms slash advocates. If you want to give feedback to the product team, please use the following hashtag and Twitter account.